Fish Pro, guys. It was ripping when I saw it. Oh, it's ripping. My legs are ripping. Oh, boy. Oh, man. What's going on? I forgot to open the bail. Please be a trout. Yes! 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 yes. <laughs> What's up friends, Old Minnow Boys here. We are on a brand new lake today. It's another weekend and we are out on the ice. What lake are we on, Zachy? Weber Lake. Yeah, we are on Weber Lake. We've never been here before in our lives. We're just outside of Wolverine. What are we targeting today? We are trying to catch a brook trout today. Yeah, this lake is stocked with a lot of brook trout, some brown trout as well over the years. So we're giving it our best shot today to try to put some trout on the ice. There are also some perch as well as panfish here in the lake. So we might do some jigging for those as well, but we've got tip up set really shallow close to shore here. We're literally like 10 to 15 feet off of shore in between four to seven feet of water. Hopefully we're gonna catch some of those trout cruising through. We're also gonna be jigging for panfish out a little bit deeper so uh, we're gonna get the shanty set up and let's get after it. All right, friends, we got a flag. It's spinning. Yes. Well, it was spinning a little bit. Oh yeah, it took out line. No. Oh, uh, we lost him? Oh, robbed. <sighs> Nuts. All right guys, quick update. It is 9.30. We just had that one flag that we unfortunately missed. We jigged for a little bit here in the shanty, but uh, starting to rain outside. We're gonna go for a little adventure, take a walk out in the rain and uh, check out the campground here because we've never been here before. I set a tip up here in the shanty. We got the underwater camera on it with, uh, with the blue down there. So who knows, hopefully we'll have something come along on the camera here. We're gonna go on a little adventure. Let's check it out. Alright guys, we just had two flags go off at once. Up in the shallow water. Okay. We're gonna try both of them. Hopefully we get one. At least one. He was definitely pulled though. Look how much he pulled out. Oh yeah. Oh god, it robbed. The minnow's still there, but something... Yep, he's got chomps in him. Something grabbed him. Okay. Alright, over to the next one. Hi, Fish Pro. Nothing on the first one. Oh, we need a trout, buddy. Robbed. Doggone it. Three flags, no fish. Something grabbed it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Flag. It's ripping, it's ripping. Fish Pro, guys, it was ripping when I saw it. Oh, it's ripping! My legs are ripping! Oh boy, oh man, what's going on? I forgot to open the bail. Ow! Got him, got him, got him. 
got him. Please be a trout. Yes! 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 Oh, it's a beautiful brown. That's a brown. Brown trout. That's 100% a brown. Yeah. Beautiful brown trout, guys. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is going to be dinner. Brown Wee. trout, 12 inches, right? Yep. Yes! <laughs> we needed that. We needed that bad, bad. We needed that beauty. Here we go, friends. We got a beautiful brown. <laughs> that is awesome. We're going to measure them real quick. We'll get some pictures and whatnot, but super stoked on the iFish Pro. And uh, man, that was almost a fail. I forgot to open the bale, but fortunately he just, a trout this big, he just engulfed that minnow and ran with it. So beautiful fish, good start. I'm super stoked. We're finally on the board. just picked up guys and We got the shanty set back up. Went ahead and put the tip up back down here in the shanty, got the underwater camera on it, and we're going to have another little adventure. There's some mysterious blue object across the lake. It looks like somebody left over there. So we're gonna go check that out and see what it is. And uh, hopefully we'll have another flag here shortly. Stay tuned. Zach is guaranteeing that that blue object way out there is a five gallon bucket. Yep. Guarantee? Guarantee. All right, we're about to find out. Huh. Why in the world would people leave all this garbage out here? Unbelievable. They dropped the shovel. You can see where the hole was. Yeah. They dropped the shovel down the hole and then just left it there. Left cans, bottles. Here we go, guys. iFish Pro just went up again. We just got back from our adventure. It's perfect timing. Hopefully it's a brookie or another brown. Zach said he saw it tug. Nuts. Awesome. Nuts. Is he still there? Nope. Gone. Ah. Probably another. Ugh. All right, guys. We were doing a little adventure around the lake, and we saw something pretty disappointing. Somebody left all this trash out here. Cans over here, this propane tank right here, and a random shovel just sitting right here. So we're gonna do as much work as we can to clean up this lake. All right, we got all the trash cleaned up. We're gonna head back to the shanty. All right, friends, we just got another flag. It is about 12.30 in the afternoon now. One of the fray bills popped. Pulled out a lot of line. Pulled out a lot of line. Oh, great. hit and run. He pulled a lot of line and then dropped it. Okay. Minnow's still there. It's 1.15 in the afternoon update. We just went for another little hike. No more flags. Kept the uh, tip up here in the shanty on the underwater camera. Have no idea if any fish have swam through. 
if there were, we'll show you <laughs> when we review the footage here. Anyway, we're kind of tired from the hike, so I'm going to search around a little bit, drill some holes out a little bit deeper, maybe take the camera and uh, see if we can find some panfish. If we're not able to locate any other fish, we're actually going to move the shanty in shallow and get in that five to six feet of water for the evening bite, and hopefully we can jig some of those trout that are coming through. So anyway, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, just like that, right after we just did that update, iFish Pro flag popped. We got another hit for sure. The other flag behind us just popped. I'm gonna doubt that this guy's gonna be here. Nope. Let's okay. go, let's go. Let's check the other one. There we go. It's not spinning. Not surprising. Nope. These, uh, pulled a lot of line. Pulled a lot of line. Oh my goodness. A lot of line. Like took off with it and just dropped it in the weeds. I mean, he pulled a lot of line. Yeah. It just, these trout, just hard to hook them yeah. without a hook setting device. I'm gonna run and see if I have that jaw jacker in the yeah. truck. No jaw jacker, unfortunately, in the truck. So I guess we're just gonna keep missing fish on the tip ups. But I'm feeling pretty strongly about moving the shanty into shallow and just trying to jig these trout because that's seven or eight flags that we've had now. So they just come through. They're just cruising the shoreline, foraging for minnows and whatnot. And when they come through, that's the second time that we've had two flags go off at the same time. I think if we get the shanty there, we can get the underwater camera down or even just sight fish. I think we can probably put a few more on the ice, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'd like to look out in the deeper water, just mess around with it for a little bit, see if we could find some panfish. We know there's a lot of sunfish in here, some good size uh, pumpkin seeds. There's supposed to be some bigger perch as well. So we'll give that a shot, but then as it gets, Mid to late afternoon, we're definitely going to move the shanty in here shallow and hopefully jig some of these trout. All right, friends. Two o'clock update, did a little bit of searching, drilled some holes all the way out to 30 feet, dropped the camera down, really no structure, no weeds, just a flat bottom, didn't mark a single fish, didn't see any fish on the camera. So we're back in the shanty, we're having some uh, venison sausage, some mild cheddar cheese, getting our energy up. So I think the plan at this point is we're gonna move the shanty into shallow water, into that five, six, seven foot range where all those tip ups have been going off. We'll get the underwater camera down and we're just gonna jig and wait for those trout to come through. We got four and a half hours of good fishing light left. Hopefully we can we can get some that way because it just doesn't look like the panfish are gonna happen today. So we're just gonna try to focus on those trout in closer to shore. Yeah, we will see what happens. This is flag number eight or nine. We don't really have high hopes. We've not been having good luck with the tip up hookups today, but you never know. We'll give it a shot here and see if we can pull something up. Definitely pulled line, pulled a lot of line. Pulled a lot of line. Wait. No, he's still there. Oh, oh, oh. He's there, he's there. We got him, we got him, we got him. Pull up, pull we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. That was a fail. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, buddy. Two trout on the ice, baby. Finally got one on the tip up. Yeah. He had ran so far, I, I just couldn't even feel him. It's another brown. We were a little bit confused at first. We weren't sure what it was, uh, but definitely Another brown trout. This one uh, is coming in right at just under 13 inches, about 12 and a half inches. So we got two browns and uh, quite a few hours of fishing light left. So we're gonna move the shanty over there and hopefully get a couple more of these guys on the jig rod. Hopefully a brook trout as well. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we got two on the ice though. So pretty exciting. Let's get a few more.
All right, friends, we have moved the shanty. We're finally set up, all set up here. Got the underwater camera down. So we're basically just running two dead sticks. Zach's got the custom rod. He's got a little forage minnow on there, tipped with a live minnow. I've got the clam 1 16th ounce uh, glow leech spoon, tipped that with a live minnow as well. So we're just gonna sit tight here. We've still got over two hours of good daylight. We've still got our three uh, tip up set, two tip ups and one eye fish pro. So hopefully we're gonna put a few more trout on the ice. We'd really like to get a brook trout, would kind of be our goal. We've got those two beautiful brown trout, but hopefully we can get a brookie on the ice. So. Sit tight, we'll see what happens. All right, friends, that is gonna do it. It is a little after six o'clock. Apparently there is no evening bite on Weber Lake. <laughs> Since three o'clock, not a single flag. We didn't see a single fish, no trout or anything else on the underwater camera. So that was unfortunate, but we still had an awesome day. We caught those two awesome brown trout earlier today. We had eight or nine flags all together and then several other times where we got robbed and it didn't trigger the flag. So there were a lot of trout moving through here in the shallows. We learned a lot today as well. We learned that, you know, we really probably should not have gone out in the deeper water and been searching around for panfish. That was just kind of a waste of time. We should have been jigging here shallow first thing in the morning along with our tip ups and I'm sure we could have put some more fish on the ice. But you live and you learn. Uh, this is our very first time out on Weber and it did not disappoint. <laughs> we had a great day, so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for following along. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow us on Instagram, and uh, we will catch you guys in the next video on the ice. Old Minnow Boy, out.